Wait, where am I? How did I get here? Nick! Nick! If the machine fails, we need to fix it. Get out of this place. I need to find a beetle. Professor was giving me clues, and then he's gone? How can I do this without you, Professor? Atoms and charges, electric current, magnets. Why was he telling me this? Atoms Let's start from the basic. What are the parts of the atom? Nucleus, the center of the atom. It has two particles, the proton and the neutron. Proton is positively charged. Neutron has no charge. The outer part of the atom that revolves around the nucleus like a shell is called the electron. Electron contains negative charge. Atoms? Atoms? Is there anything that doesn't contain atoms? Atoms, 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 atoms. Wait, definitely none. Everything contains atoms. What does he want me to figure out? Ah! Oh man, what did I do? Get rich. Oh, I need to find something. Ah, electrical tape. This might work. Why it isn't working? What's wrong? Damn! Let's try this pencil's graphite. an experiment we need to conduct an electrolysis experiment the objective is to determine which material is the most efficient conductor to make the time indicator work to perform this you need the following glass with 100 ml water 10 ml bleach or liquid sosa one 9 volt battery and any 5 inch strip of materials you wish to test for the procedure pour the 10 ml bleach into the 100 ml water and mix it next Cut your experimental material into half. Connect one half to the positive terminal of the battery with an alligator clip. Connect the other half to the negative terminal. Soak the ends of the material into a water bleach solution. If this experiment works, bubbles will emerge. The more bubbles you see, the more efficient conductor your material is. This is the first step to going back home.
Yes! That material worked perfectly! But where will this lead me to? Find out in the next episode of Panic Nick!